So for embedded hardware security, there's some great books on the topic, um, and there's lots of great papers that teach you DPA and clock glitching and whatnot. Um, but to replicate their experimental setup is expensive. And if you are a commercial business looking to just buy a setup for this, it's also quite expensive, you know, luxury car costs here we're talking. So I have this FPGA baseboard that has an analog ADC along with some other um, components as well as a target board for testing and it can do side channel analysis, clock glitching and all sorts of embedded hardware security um, research. It also has some differential probes, breakout boards, adapters, low noise amplifiers and magnetic field probe. The other part of it is this open source software. So everything's open source. So here it's running um, against an AES implementation and it's monitoring the power as it's running the AES. Um, when I switch to the analyzer, it can then show you the waveform and you can run a standard attack like a correlation power analysis. So we can compare the output of this, this 2B7E to what the key is, which is this 2B7E. So it's broken the device. Um, security. And you can also even see where exactly the AES is running. So this is all for learning purposes. Of course, there's great documentation. So if you want to build one, um, it has guides to building it, digi-key parts lists, and everything like that. It also has some documentations even for, you know, setup, installation, and some tutorials. So you can really teach yourself um, using this tool. It has a lot of other really advanced features like clock glitching, so adjustable glitch widths, and those clock glitches can be triggered from the, the analog capture triggers, which can be stuff like the digital pattern I.O. So you can trigger based on a uh, UART line, for example. And you can even trigger based on a pattern in the analog waveform. And because the whole system is open source, you can use other FPGA boards. So Cebo W, these are these open these other boards used in the research environment. And you can do the capture instead with something like this $160 USB oscilloscope. So thanks for checking it out.